Awake, O thou that sleepest. Turn toward God. Seek ye the face of thy Maker. Hath thine heart become heavy, and thy hope as the hope of a fool? Desire truth with the entirety of your being. For what doth it profit a man to gain the whole world, but forfeit his own soul? Behold, this life is like a vapour, a vanishing mist, a cloud which appeareth for a moment, then disappeareth the next. For we are not promised the fullness of eighty years, neither are we guaranteed that our eyes shall behold the morrow. Our earthly experience is merely temporal, a fraction of of our soul's existence, a blink and a twinkling of the eye in the face of eternity. O neighbour, hear the cry of mine heart, hear the voice of thy Maker beseeching you to repent and put your faith in Jesus. Repent from the wickedness of this world. There is a war on your soul. The blindfold doth wrap itself tightly around you, so that your eye doth not see, your ear doth not hear, neither doth your heart incline to understand the ways of truth and the path of righteousness. The world seeketh to entangle thy soul in the deceitfulness of riches, the love of money, the lust of the flesh and eyes, the pride of life, the pursuit of worldly gain, the enticement of sin which leadeth to death, the strivings of outward appearance, the snare of vanity, the trap of vain philosophies and science so called counterfeit spiritualities and wickedness in the unseen to encourage you to keep your backs turned against your creator whilst cunningly swaying your soul along a tale of eternal destruction. Don't you see, O oh neighbour, that there is a hole within your heart that only God can fill. It will never truly be satiated by anyone other than Him. You were fashioned to be in fellowship with the one who knew and needed you whilst you were in your mother's womb. The things of this world serve no eternal value, but it doth set itself up against you. For dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Naked you came out of your mother's womb, and naked shall you return thither. So why doth thine heart set its affections on carnal things and earthly treasures? Behold, set thine heart upon truth. For there is nothing new under the sun, all is vanity. Do ye labour in vain? Do the works of your hands seek to establish worldly gain and temporary fulfilment? Which can neither hear, nor see, nor talk, nor love. Which be yours for a moment, then left to another. in whom you cannot even be assured, will take care of it and be wise with it.
seek you the truth as he would for rubies, for gold and for hidden treasures. Search for wisdom, cry out for knowledge, lift up thy voice for understanding. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For the Lord is merciful and gracious, ready to forgive all who call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. It's his will that none should perish, but that all should come unto the knowledge of the truth and be saved that your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you so that he will not hear. But if you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All have sinned, and fallen short of the glory of God. For if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we say we have not sin, we make God a liar. And what? Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? For our God is wise and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered? God searches the heart of every creature. In his hands is the breath of every living soul. His eyes are upon all the earth, beholding both the good and the evil. There is no deed, no word, no thought that our omnipotent God is not aware of, but his grace is sufficient for thee, and if thou wouldest repent from wickedness and desire truth and holiness, believing in his precious testimony, then thou shalt be cleansed, purified, redeemed and adopted as a child of the Most High. Yeah, spiritually reborn and reconnected back to God, sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. Ye shall be born of incorruptible seed to an inheritance undefiled, that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Oh, that you would know the love of God that is made available for you. And enter into the light and walk the narrow path which leadeth to life eternal. Deny yourself, take up thy cross, and follow Christ, who is the source of all our strength, hope, peace, and unwavering love, which was so fervently expressed to us when he would rather die for us than to live without us.
our beloved Saviour, who endured the harshest death in all of history as an expression of his love toward us, to create a way for us to be made righteous and enter into the blessed kingdom of life eternal in the world to come. With him, though it is a grievous thing to know that the folly of pride doth hinder a man from humbling himself before the Creator. Pride, when flared up in the human heart, spreadeth itself like the poison of an asp, and in the end stings like the bite of a viper, filling our veins with foolishness and puffed up imaginations and thoughts which drive us further away from the truth and from our Maker. For where were you when the foundations of the earth were laid, when the heavens were stretched forth, and the stars were scattered among the cosmos? Canst thou make one head on your head, black or white? Let alone make the sun to reveal her light in the day, and the moon to illuminate our skies upon the darkest shades of blue in the even. Were you there when God formed Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades? Or when he divided the waters and formed the mountains? I therefore urge thee, approach the Lord with humility, for God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. He is ready to forgive and to forget your former iniquities as far as the east is to the west. Repent, or ye shall all likewise perish. For unless a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. For God putteth no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. How much less in them which dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which is crushed before the moth. Will ye forsake your own righteousness? and look upon the righteousness of God? For ye cannot obtain eternal life based upon your own good works. For all of our righteousnesses are as filthy rags compared to the righteousness of God. Rather, put your faith and trust in the finished work upon the cross. The gift of eternal life is free readily available to all them that sincerely repent and put their faith in Jesus Christ. Will ye accept it and allow God to heal up your wounds and bind up your scars? Will ye resist the ways of moral corruption, turn away from darkness and walk inside of his marvelous light? For the rays of light, which radiate from our Lord, have the power to pierce inside the deepest parts of our soul. Are you ready to surrender your heart? For too long have you allowed foreign hands to sculpt your identity, leaving behind the fingerprints of an intruder and bruises from mishandling. Beloved neighbor, your identity is only found in the one who formed you. Only God truly knows who he created you to be. You are the precious clay that have sought the hands of the potter in the wrong places. Place yourself in the palms of God's hands 
and let the heavenly touch of our Creator redefine the contours of your soul and repair your heavy heart, restoring you into all that He created for you to be. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So come out from those who have pleasure in unrighteousness. Be ye separate, and the Lord will receive you. For God did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. For ye may be dead in sin, but ye shall be quickened by the Spirit. Ye may be lost in darkness, but ye shall find the light of life in Christ. Turn toward the Good Shepherd of our faith, who will leave the ninety-nine sheep in the wilderness to go after the one that is lost until he find it. He will lay you on his shoulders and rejoice, for joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety-nine just persons. For the loving embrace of a father toward a child that was once dead and is alive again, was once lost but now is found, is a love far too grand for me to attempt to describe. So, beloved neighbour, seek God with your whole heart, and ye shall no longer be lost, but found in the arms of your heavenly Father, wrapped in a robe of righteousness as a child of the Most High. Repent and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, whose mouth has spoken and hands have formed and carved all things into existence. Choose you this day whom you will serve, light or darkness, God or yourself and the world. Your eternity depends on it. Love in the Lord, Stephanie Martina.